Hi, TRS Bass Pro Gary Atkins here to talk about my three top go-to baits in the spring. First, I'm gonna talk about the suspending jerk bait. It's a great bait for cold water when that water temperature is from 45 to 55 degrees. The fish have not quite moved up to spawn yet. They're out off that first break, moving it real slow with long pauses. A couple ways that I like to set up a jerk bait. One, if they're a little deeper, I'm gonna go with the Mega Bass 110 plus one. It's a great, it gets me down to that eight to 10 foot range. And first thing I'm gonna do when I get this bait is I am gonna change out the hooks. They come with really sharp hooks, but they're a thin wire hook. I'll take a Gamagatsu wide gap hook in the same size treble, and I'll swap all three of them out. Um, just because in the past I've lost a few big fish with the hook straightening out, so I automatically change them out. Another thing is if I'm not quite getting to the depth that I'm looking for, I'm gonna change out that front hook and put a little bit bigger hook on that just to get that little bit more weight. It's gonna allow me to get that bait down just a little bit deeper. Now, if they moved up onto that flat a little bit, I'll change up and go to a Mega Bass 110. Um, it's gonna go from that four to six foot range. That way I'm not hitting bottom. And again, long pause in the spring, folks, is what you're really looking for. Fish are lethargic. They're not gonna wanna chase a bait real hard. So the long pause, and you're gonna have to experiment a little bit. Start out with a long pause, different type of a retrieve when you're actually jerking it. Start out with maybe one or two long pause, maybe one in a long pause, but it's very important not to move the bait too fast. When that water temperature is 45 to 55, it's all about slow and steady. That's my first go-to bait. I'm always gonna have one or two of these on the deck of my boat, and I'm gonna experiment with them because a lot of big fish come in the spring on the Mega Bass 110 and 110 plus one. My second bait for the springtime would be a bladed jig. a great all-around bait. As far as the colors and sizes I would use, it really dic is dictated by the water color. If it's a real clear water, I'm gonna go with a natural pattern. It's gonna be a shad, like a, a white, a white chartreuse. You can see from a long ways a good way. If the water's a little stained or dingy, I'm gonna go to an orange, kind of like this one here, craw pattern. For whatever reason, orange works really great early in the spring. Um, not so much later in the year, but early in pre-spawn time, Orange works awesome. Now if the water is really dirty and I'm looking for more vibration, I'm gonna go with the, the big blade. It just puts out a lot more vibration. The fish are able to home in on it on vibration versus actually being able to see it. So it's really important that the dirtier the water, the bigger the blade you want for the vibration. As far as trailers, I only use really two trailers. Around shad and the fish are feeding on shad, I'm gonna go with some kind of a minnow type trailer, either a Kai Tech on the back, a Fluke, Yamamoto Zenko, or if it's, I'm gonna fish a lot of wood and they're feeding on crawfish, I'm gonna use a crawfish type trailer. One that'll help me get through the wood a little bit better because the paddles are actually gonna ride over the wood and I'm gonna get hung up a lot less. So it's important to use the right trailer for the bait and the conditions. Remember, dirty water, go with the big blade, bright colors. If it's clear water, go with natural colors like white, shad pattern, um, white and chartreuse, things like that. As far as grass in the spring, don't overlook this around grass in the spring. I like to fish it around grass clumps, weed edges, things like that. Places where pre-spawn largemouth are going to stage and just before they pull up. This is a great bait, you cover a lot of water fast and you get a lot of big fish on it. So don't overlook the bladed bait for your arsenal in the spring. My third go-to bait in the springtime is obviously the flipping jig. Once that water temperature warms up a little bit and they're just really not in the chasing mood anymore and they've already put a feed bag on, they start getting tighter to cover like wood, dock posts, riprap, I go to the jig. I slow down and try to get them big bites on inactive fish. So what I do is I, I grab a half ounce or three eighths ounce jig, start flipping every little piece of target that I can find. Um, my go-to jig is the dirty jigs. It's, it's, it's a great jig. As far as colors, if the water's clear, I don't only use two colors. I use a green pumpkin or a green pumpkin orange to mimic a crawfish. Springtime, once that water temperature gets about 55 degrees, crawfish start coming out, 
bass start keying on them. That little bit of orange there makes it look like a crawfish, and it's a great, great bait. Um, as far as a trailer on my jigs, I like to use a speed craw or a zoom Z craw. One of the two, it doesn't have too much action, but just enough to get their attention. And the spring, like I, like I said, they don't want to chase. Um, they don't want a lot of big action, so I try to compact it down a little bit. It seems to work a lot better for me in the spring. If the water's a little bit more dirty, what I'll do is I'll go to a black and blue dirty jigs and the 3 8 or half ounce, and it seems to get more bites in dirty water. Targeting wood, dock posts, riprap, things like that. They're gonna be tighter to the bank now that water's warmed up a little bit. They're not gonna be chasing, so you wanna put that bait right in front of their face, don't move it too fast, and you'll get a lot more bites once that water temperature warms up. Because now they're starting to think about spawning, not so much eating. All the stuff that you saw me here today can all be purchased at TRS, the real shot, here in Appleton. If you're from the Appleton area, stop in, talk to the guys, they're real knowledgeable, they're willing to help you if you have any questions. And if you can't make it to Appleton, go online. They have a great online store. You can go through their, their website, see what you want, place an order, and if you use promo code GARY10, you can save 10%. Hey, and who doesn't want to save 10% nowadays? The way the economy is, saving money is a good thing. So look them up, do your shopping at TRS, you won't be sorry you did.